Hello and welcome back. This is Dragaloon and we are back in Airport CEO. Uh, since the last time I had recorded a video, they have released Alpha 35 and with it a bunch of new options. I was looking through the list of new added features and one of them is that walkalator that I was talking about a couple of videos ago. Uh, I also saw that they added in some elevators to, so that will allow us to get our passengers from underground up to our second floor of our uh, international side of our or airport a lot faster. So uh, let's go ahead and get on in here and see what we have to do in order to be able to unlock all of these new features. Let's start by going into our R&D. And looks like we have quality kitchen restaurants. Hmm, that seems interesting. Uh, same with automation. What does automation give us? Self-check-in kiosks, baggage drop, self-boarding gates. Hmm, that looks interesting. Quality kitchen, restaurant contracts, cooking station. Aha, so it does look like they added some new features for our restaurants. That might be interesting interesting multiple terminal operations there we go that is exactly what we are looking for in order to unlock all of our new things that we need in order to be able to move our passengers much more quickly so we'll go ahead and throw eight uh, administrators in there and it looks like we do not have enough people to run everything. We need to hire a few more ramp agent staff. Oh, and it looks like now you can assign people to specific terminals. That might be interesting to play around with later. Auto assign at purchase. Oh, this will be so nice. Hmm. All right. That is really interesting. They have added a lot of new features that I am really, really looking forward to getting into. All right. Are we done with our R&D yet? No, we are not. Wow, that takes a really long time. All right, well, while we are waiting for that, let's go ahead and jump on down here to the lower area without de-icing de due to no pad support. Oh, so they even want de-icing pads for our general aviation. Well, that is not happening. Sorry, folks. Well, while we are waiting, let's see if we can do anything else. Our baggage security point two allows us to increase the uh, detail or specific specifications, excuse me, of uh, which bag scanners do what, but we don't need that just yet. Um, but I do want this automation that will help with our ticketing. And while we wait, why don't we start working on this, the rest of this airport over here? Insufficient. What? Insufficient funds my backside. Ooh. Okay. Wow. That is going to be really expensive. All right, well, I'm going to wait for this R&D to complete, and I will bring you right back once I'm done. All right, so uh, the automation uh, research is done, and now we have these self-check-ins and these bag drops. So why don't we go down here and take a look at our ticketing kiosks, and what I think we might end up doing just throwing a bunch of these oh. let's see 
All right, so it's forcing us to put a baggage drop in. And what we can do is we can put this baggage drop right there. And then we'll need to take care of the baggage. Like that. And then we can add in all of these self check in desks. Just like that. And I think what we might as well do is throw in just one more of these there just like that all right let's check on the rest of that R&D almost done all right, so it looks like these baggage drops need to be connected to baggage bays as well. I wonder if you can connect them to multiple. No, you cannot. Oh, my word. Oh, no. Oh, that is not good. All right, so with that being the case, I need to rework this. Give me just a moment and we'll be right back. So I got all of that in place. Uh, I ended up expanding the uh, airport uh, just a little bit down here uh, because you need one baggage drop per baggage carousel. So in the case of our medium and, uh, excuse me, yeah, our medium and large terminal uh, aircraft stands over here where each baggage bay is for each aircraft stand, we need one baggage drop. So I added in uh, a bit of ability to expand because we don't quite have our um, large aircraft stands yet. We're only dealing with our mediums. And so 
we need to be able to expand out. So that's why I did that. And while I was doing that, we did get our research done for our multiple terminal area. And what that did is it allowed us to create individual terminal areas such as this. which requires uh, service parking as well as stands and everything like that. Uh, but we won't do that. Uh, let's see if I can delete this. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes, I can. Just like that. Okay. We won't do that because uh, we have everything split the way we need it right now as it is. But under our terminals... We now have in trash cans, which we can place all over the place uh, just to help with the trash clutter. Uh, we also have vending machines. We have a drink machine and a food machine, which will increase our passenger satisfaction because it will mean that people can get food and drink a lot quicker. As well as the usual escalators and stairs, we now have three different sizes of walkalators or the moving walkways for the normal people. Uh, each one is, uh, just like the runways, they are predefined in their size, um, as well as the direction that they go. We also have, suddenly, elevators, which we can install right here to allow our passengers to go from here to our second floor and I think we might actually work on installing those today hmm we'll have to see but the first thing that I know we definitely want to do is we want to install some walkalators and we're going to take these extra long ones and we're just going to Place them like this. We'll leave a little bit of a gap so that people can um, continue to uh, walk by if they so choose. Why? Oh, insufficient funds. Those are expensive ba uh, expensive things. Excuse me. All right. So for the time being, we'll just do one set just like that and that will allow our passengers to get more quickly down this walkway then we will do the same over here and we actually need a shorter one is the medium too long no the medium is not too long all right, folks. So, one thing that I discovered was that with the new elevator systems, uh, you actually only put in um, one of the uh, elevator positions, I guess you could call it. Um, and then it builds, and it has to be underneath. So, you build on the bottom floor, and then it builds the second on the top floor or or the next floor up and then in order to expand it up you actually right uh click on it and you can expand your elevator you can also it appears remove entrances so like in this case where i have this ground floor as staff only um you can actually remove that and have it to where and passengers can only get from the underground area up up to the second floor which I really, really like that. So, all right, that gets that done. And we have some walkalators in place. One thing that I think I am going to do, though, before we move on. All right, as I was saying, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in another set of these walkalators. To allow our passengers to move more quickly 
over here to our international area. All right, and it looks like one of our contracts is done and over with, and we probably didn't get very much out of it. So we'll go ahead and uh, sign another contract right there. And let's go check on our regional side. And that one looks like it is almost done, but it's still holding strong. All right, folks, so I've gotten a lot more done, as you can see. Uh, I did add in, oops, I forgot to add the walls around these. All right, just like that. All right, so I did add in a few more elevators on the uh guess you could call it entrance side so the passengers had multiple options on how they wanted to uh, get upstairs so now they can either take the escalators or the elevators uh i also down over here in the baggage claim area i also added in walls uh as i was talking in a couple episodes uh, prior i wanted to prevent uh passengers from standing in the middle of the baggage claim areas and so i just added in a couple of walls to help facilitate that um so for now i think what we will do Oh, I also changed the flooring, uh, the tiling on the international side. Uh, during the editing of the last episode, uh, I noticed that the flooring pattern uh, kind of gave some really weird looks. Uh, not how, not sure how to describe it. Uh, but I went ahead and changed it just so that it wasn't so hard on the eyes. Um, I think what we're going to do this episode now is we are going to continue working on expanding our airport out to where we can put in, we can open up one more uh, terminal or uh, gate, I guess you could say. So let me work on getting that completed and I'll bring you right back. All right, folks. So we got another expansion of our airport complete. Uh, we have one more uh, aircraft stand that we should name B4. Uh, and with that, we should probably get some more airlines. So we'll go to our economy, offer contracts, and look at our airlines again. And there we go. We have a few more airlines. We have quite a number of airlines, actually. And as things progress along, we will steadily get more and more aircraft to come into the large gates and with all of these added we need some more ramp agents and we need some more passenger service agents and let's go ahead and get a couple more service technicians and a few more janitors All right. So let's go ahead and go back in here to our R&D. And we will do our franchise shops. As well as our quality kitchen restaurants. Why not? All right. So it looks like we do have 
our new stuff done, such as our freezers, our preparation items, and our cooking stations. Now, I'm going to have to do a little bit of research into exactly what we need to do uh, to use these properly, uh, as I've never used them before. Um, but it should be interesting. We also have our shops are uh, opened up. So let's go ahead and go up here and we will put in another shop or a shop right next to our restaurant over here. And we'll make it a nice even square. All right, now that we have that, what we need to do is we want to put in some registers. We'll put one right there. And then we need a bunch of different varieties of shelves. So let's me, let me throw some of these in and we'll see how it looks. that I have a contract signed for this shop, which I just went with a regular two stars simply because I don't know how much traffic we're gonna have going by here. It looks like we are ready for our next step. And that would be remote stands, which I personally don't like remote stands. Not sure what their use is. So we are actually going to skip that. Let me see if I can skip that. All right. So I went ahead and skipped the uh, whole remote stands thing uh, simply because, like I said, I, I'm not a big fan of remote stands. I'd rather have all of my aircraft stands uh, connected without having to deal with the buses. So the last step in building an international airport, which we'll go ahead and do next time as this recording is getting quite long, um, is to actually build our large aircraft stands, which means that we will also need passport control. And that, that looks like it is going to be quite interesting to deal with because you need a whole new set of zones just to control passports. Uh, reading in here, uh, what you need to do is you need to have uh, passport checking uh, both coming into the international zone as well as leaving the international zone. And that is what is required in order to have a fully functioning large aircraft stand. And what I think we're going to do is we're going to put the large uh, aircraft stands on this side of the international terminal and leave this side for our medium aircraft stands, which we already have in place. So I think we are almost done here. Uh, just checking around, taking a look at other things. Let's look at what R&D we still have available. Um, so the other thing that I think we might do next time, uh, and it will all be based off of the amount of time that we have, uh, will be to get our second tier of baggage security. And if you look down here at our current security rating, our uh, baggage, our overall baggage and, and uh, correctly destroyed and all of that is 
pretty low. It's it's not the gr that great, um, because we don't have tiers two and tier three uh, baggage controls. Uh, so that's another thing that we might get into, but. Again, that will be another episode uh, for this one. Um, if you did find it enjoyable or informative, please leave me a like. Uh, if you had any suggestions on what I might be able to do better, uh, please leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear your input. And as always, if you haven't subscribed yet, please make sure to subscribe. Until next time, stay frosty out there.